okay so in this lecture we will see how to create uh, this kind of uh, ring shanks easily and uh, how to create it uh, using flow along green cow okay flow along cow yeah so let's uh, move it little bit apart and uh, lock it now make one circle type in zero enter and go to front view then you can directly type d enter to specify diameter value then 16.67 yeah this is my uh, diameter value now i am going to use length command so length is the command and select the curve and type in enter so it's 52.37 so i want to create line from midpoint type in zero enter use 52.37 divided by 2 so it will directly add uh, with the calculation now i want to make this kind of shank so you can directly use top view either you can create using uh, you know judgment uh, you can take this kind of judgment so it's a uh, infinite kind of shank so currently i'm just uh, teaching method not exactly uh, following that uh, shape so you are going to create a circle to make a hard shape so type in diameter value as a 5 now you can turn on control points you can also rebuild them to 9 it's a little bit change okay that's fine uh, make it larger center to downside uh, center points at uh, different okay so it should look like a heart either you can uh, use download picture and uh, make hardship accordingly a little a bit bring it outside and uh, set hardship okay so currently this is heart now see uh, change the color of the line so we can uh, judge that our this is our limit for the line now we are going to use curve interpolate points so just uh okay currently ortho mode is on so turn off so click on f8 it will turn off the ortho mode okay now keep checking your shape you can also import picture and uh, set shape accordingly okay now this is my end line so the shank of length of the shank will uh, have this this much length so this is too much so we can also uh, increase the length okay, it should uh, go intersect with the center shape now i am going to use offset uh, distance value 0.35 offset should be around 0.6 okay uh, let's make it outer side so we'll have the good uh, thickness okay zero and here okay now from we are going to use line from midpoint f8 on point 75 so 1.5 would be the thickness now i'm going to use line again from this point to this point if we want to make more uh, taper so we can also change thickness but uh, currently we are going to use this much of uh, 1.5 mm length at the end and uh, use mirror okay now trim extra points type in trim command and uh, join the inner 
section with the line currently i want to uh, make this section little bit upper upper than this lower portion so that's why i am uh, uh, splitting this object from this section so right now this is our section for second third and uh, here it's a fourth line okay let's extend arc use extend arc click this curve and bring it little bit inside use line command click both the ends select them and join okay this is my first section and this is my second section let's join them uh, i have open ends here and here so let's connect them okay let's use extend arc here little bit intersecting inner side this point to this point this is too much intersection lines so use stream command and click the extra ocean now this is joint section control j and now how i need to uh, end operation at this point so i am just creating another line from this point to this point and now use control plus j so we have already created two different curve sections i am just bring it bringing this upper side 0.5 or something you can specify your height value now selecting both of the curves and type in extrude curve and specify thickness you want so currently i am specifying 1.3 mm so now these two points are getting little bit upper side because we need center portion upper and this should be merged with the original position so right now i am currently using solid edit points and bring them lower side so go to front view and bring them down the cross section is already different means it is not union with this cross section so this is a, a individual cross section so we can use cage edit bounding box world coordinate system type in 4 and global so now i can select this inner cloud point cloud and bring it upside so currently uh, if these points are going to change we can move them and adjust them okay this is fine and this center portion is getting uh, fine intersection okay so uh, now we have created one side of the uh, profile so now select them and make it a uh, union make sure if your points are up and down you can uh, turn on solid edit points and uh, up and move them and set set them accordingly okay so currently this is my union object and uh, control plus h for hiding the object and now we are going to uh, mirroring this side so go to top view and uh, type in mirror zero enter and click here okay so now i am going to use offset i want to offset both the sides and uh, value is 0.35 okay this is fine select uh, both the inner and outer side and extrude them sorry extrude cow and uh, set the thickness as per needed okay so right now currently i'm going to use flow along curve and uh, what are the error can be possible in this uh, method so if i'm going to select select this both sides and uh, okay go to flow along curve select the middle point and upper point so why the options means object created it is going inside of the curve and second thing it is coming right side left side 
so not the uh, top one so why this happened let's make it undo select the circle or arc you have selected and go to analysis and click on the curve and click on show ends so the c close curve seems uh, is here so select the curve and rotate it and make it to bottom side it's now at the top side so let's type in 180 so now it's at bottom side okay now you can select both the objects click on flow along the curve select the base curve and select the target curve so now the thing is changed so the seams the closed curve seams is uh, turning point means it is a game changer uh, if you change the closed seam now your object will have different result and select the center one i don't want to make it bend so when i'm going to use flow along curve select the base curve before that click on the digit yes select the base curve and select the target curve okay so you can uh, later use boolean difference so currently this is my uh, result which i want click on new layer so this is the very important option okay so now both the things are overlapping and the close sim is bottom side okay yeah thank you